Yep, they need water. And we're going to plant sissies. And I'm going to plant... And I'm going to water sissies strawberry plant. That could be enough. Some of the chickens are over here taking dust baths. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look at the little guy. I'm going to name him Herbert. Herbert? Yeah, Herbert. <laughs> I had an uncle named Herbert. What? Yeah. <laughs> that nice little guy. You know, his family is under here. Underground? Yeah, it doesn't know. I know what y'all are thinking. What are you about to do with those unusual ingredients? I have only one thing to say. The Pillsbury Doughboy did it first. We're making Snappy Joes. Kinda like a Sloppy Joe, but snappy or something like that. I read the reviews on this recipe, y'all, okay? And I didn't see any bad reviews. There could be some, I didn't read all of them, but I didn't see any bad ones. People were all pleasantly surprised with that assortment of ingredients over there. So we're gonna give it a try. I'm drizzling a little olive oil on the tater tots. So we're just gonna have tater tots on the side with the Snappy Joes. Make sure everybody gets a little coating of it and we'll put some salt and they are going in the oven. I already have it preheated and ready for them. When you make the tater tots and french fries and stuff in the oven, if you want them to be crispy, you just brush a little oil on them and that makes them crispy. Now you have to stir them around like halfway through the cook time or they'll stick to the bottom and then you lose your bottom of your tater tot. There's nothing worse than a bottomless tater tot. Actually there are a lot of things worse than that but anyway, salt. So how this Snappy Joe business came about was I had this loaf of Texas toast. I got this to go with uh, the pork chop night I think. I think it was the night we had pork chops. I was gonna make some, just some buttered Texas toast. Obviously, that didn't happen, so I was like, I'll use that to make French toast one morning. Still haven't done that either, so tonight, I was gonna make a ground beef and rice, a French onion soup, ground beef, rice, casserole thing. But the kids really wanted some tater tots, so I was like, well, I could make it a French onion tater tot casserole, but they really just wanted tater tots on the side, so I was like, okay, we'll make sloppy joes. Then, I remembered that I saw this Snappy Joe recipe a while back, so we're gonna give it a try. Now I have backup. If this is no good, we'll make some chicken nuggets or chicken strips to go with the tater tots, but I think it's gonna be good. Like I said, the reviews were surprisingly all five star, just about all of them. <laughs> now I think they actually used French bread to serve theirs on instead of the Texas toast, but they just put like a garlic butter spread on it. I'm not following their exact thing with that, but we are gonna make a little garlic butter spread to go on our Texas toast. I'm looking for my pan. <sighs> It's just me, mainly Cece and Jonah here, maybe for the whole evening. Like, I don't know, sometimes Jake works later, goes and helps another guy when he gets off work, and then they go eat at Waffle House. Titus and Tyler went this afternoon to work a horse that they're training for somebody, and then they had to go help somebody haul some horses. So I'm not sure what time they're gonna be back. So, might just be us here tonight. Now, I'm trying my best to follow their recipe as exact as I can. I think the only thing that I have that's different is uh, their recipe said blackberry jam. This is blackberry preserves, but this one is seedless, so I think it's, you know, that's close enough. Everything else I had, I'm pretty sure. Um, they used some kind of ancho chilies or something it said, but it also said you could use chili powder instead of that, and I do have chili powder, so other than that, I think we're just about exactly with what their recipe is. An 8 ounce can of tomato sauce. This one's 15 ounces, so I won't use that whole can, I guess. While this is cooking, I'll soften some butter, and we're just going to add a little bit of garlic powder to it for the Texas toast. So we started with the tomato sauce, and now we're gonna put a quarter cup of the blackberry preserves. T 
teaspoon of chili powder, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Okay, now we're gonna chop up just a few of these peppers to go in here. These pickled ones aren't really that hot, but I'm still only gonna do, it said half a cup. I'm just gonna do about a quarter cup of them plus that's about all I have left in here anyway. We're going to chop them into little pieces. And just a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm going to put the toast in. We'll just let this simmer while we toast the Texas toast and the tater tots are almost done. It's a quick one. Folks, we're coming to you from the heat yes, kitchen. Yes, they got here just in time. We're in the hot kitchen today. Because when it rains, it pours. Our air conditioning is giving us trouble now, folks. Our pump went out on our well, and now our air conditioning is gone out. But we wouldn't have it no other way. Oh, it, it makes you if thankful. If I got a hot tater tot right here, I ain't worried. I That's say what I'm saying. No, bring it don't say bring it. But when things like this are going on, it, it makes you more thankful for the times when, you know, it ain't raining. How many times do you thank the Lord for the air conditioning? I bet you when that thing comes back on, you'll be like, thank you, Father. Mm-hmm. Is this your first taste of that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Is it? Really good. What what flavors are you tasting in there? This is a very different uh, thing here, kind of. Mm-hmm. Tasting good. Okay. Pillsbury Doughboy, he knows. That's the, that's the only flavor I got in there is good. Does it taste like a sloppy joe or like a... More of like a chili style thing, or what? It kind of got a Texas taste to it. Texas? Definitely got a western vibe to it. But good. Mm -hmm. Would you want me to make that again? Yeah. Okay. As long as the air conditioning's out. <laughs> Welcome back to Lost Family TV, folks, where we <laughs> fix everything. <laughs> we love when things break. I tell you what, I wake up in the mornings in hopes that something will just Mm-hmm. So look, in the I morning when I wake up, I gotta go haul some cows. I'm hoping something would just you tear better up. Hush. First thing that just hush. first thing in the morning before I get my you know what? I wish the coffee maker would tear up in the morning. So I no, I want to fix that coffee maker. <laughs> look, I've already told them the situation with this. So as of right now, that filter is doing the job of what it's supposed to be doing. We're not getting any of the the pump parts through anything, but. The it's washing still machine filling still isn't working. The, the filter is filling up with all kinds of... Right, so the pump still has to be changed, yeah. yeah. But... The, the pump's got to be changed. I've just not had time to pull it out. Or we have another option, and we're still figuring out which way we want to go with this right here. The There is an option for us to have city water. City water yeah, a lot of people were saying recently yeah, and even we probably, they've just changed the city water. There you go. So anyway, we, we're kind of... Undecided. Trying to decide which yeah, one. which one's cheaper, folks. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> any, mini mighty mo here. We're gonna catch a well or a city water by the hose. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any? There's a little bit of the white stuff in there right now, but not not a lot. Let's just put it where it's at. See, me and Tyler, when Titus was at work one day, and this whole pump situation was going on, whenever. They had put the filter on. Well, like, this thing's got a screen on it, baby. That thing shouldn't have had anything get through right, it. Right, but see, it's still around the edges, and I think that's why it's not working. You see well, I'll, I'll clean it up. Let's just put it where it's at, everybody. Back in the old days, that old washing machine would have chewed that stuff oh, up yeah. and spit it out, buddy. Yeah. I mean, it would have been like, not today, bud. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, but look, these new I ones, think... they can't handle nothing. You give them a little bit of something like this, like a splinter. We'll stop these kids today, you know. Mm -hmm. We're back in the old days, you could break your arm and they'd be like, oh, you'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I know, because I broke mine one time, my shoulder. <laughs> didn't walk even, go, off, didn't even go to the doctor, Jack. I tied it up with a shoestring, you know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> always make sure you got this stuff unplugged, everybody, if you're going to fix something. 
I guarantee you, life's all about fixing problems. Some people can pay for stuff, you know, just to be fixed. Everything, just, you know, write a check. I guess we could write a check, but that thing would be like a plastic ball. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with this thing here. Oh look! Instructions! Let me see that. If your well pump comes apart and puts plastic inside of this unit, remove it immediately from the spot that it's safely beside the dryer that you bought used from someone over in the country because your other one tore up and the other one broke and the other one broke and the, the other, other one broke. broke and you went and bought a used one from a guy on a dirt road and, it survived. and it's still working <laughs> remove this one and throw it in the garbage go to Craigslist and go down <laughs> another dirt road to a home where someone's selling a yellow one because it will work the rest of your life <laughs> See what's wrong with this thing. For sure, this thing just slapped full of plastic. I think the whole entire thing is made out of plastic. It is, and that's the reason you gotta be very careful. You're, you're fixing the old one, aren't you, Daddy? Which one I do? Yeah, it's slapped full. Mama, test it out. How long does it take for you to figure out if it's going to work? Uh, about 20 minutes. Okay, folks, in 20 minutes we'll know if this thing's going to the landfill or not. Y'all, we went from the wash cycle to the rinse. It completed the wash cycle and moved to rinse. I think we're good. I think she's working. So if yours still doesn't work after cleaning the hose many times, just take it off and just, you know, beat it up against the washing machine, get all that stuff out, and she'll work again. Mm -hmm.